In this third section of this lesson, we're going to learn about image classification with the VGG deep learning architecture. This section is going to be divided in six lessons. In the first lesson, we're going to learn about loading and exploring the cats and dog dataset. Then we're going to get an overview of the VGG architecture and learn about its origins. After that, we're going to implement and construct the VGG model with the TensorFlow Keras API. Then we're going to train and evaluate this model on our cats and dog dataset. Finally, we're going to learn about two types of transfer learning methods. First, we're going to use a pre-trained model for feature extraction. Then we're going to learn how we can do fine tuning on a pre-trained model for a new task. Let's get started with lesson one. We're going to cover the cat and dog dataset. This is a computer vision dataset used for image recognition. This dataset is composed of 25,000 images of cats and dogs. This is a type of image classification task in which we'll need to train a binary classifier that will be able to differentiate between an image of a dog and an image of a cat. Let's jump right into the notebook. First, we'll need to download the cat and dog dataset from the Kaggle website. You will need to create an account, and once you're logged in, you can get the data by clicking the download button. Now we're going to split the files into cat files and dog files by parsing the file name and finding the cat name and the dog name. We can see that we have 25,000 images, and half of which are from cats, and the other half are dog pictures. Now we're going to visualize the dataset by plotting them in a grid using this function below. Let's first plot the cat images. So here are some examples of the cat images found in the dataset. Now let's look at some dog images. And so here are other examples of, in this case, dog images. We can see that the images are quite diverse. We have different lighting, different backgrounds, and the dogs and cats are also taken from different angles. This will make it harder for the binary classifier to learn the classes. However, it will help it also generalize to out-of-sample data. Now let's split the data set into a train set and a test set. We'll take the cat files and dog files, and we'll take the first 10,000 as a train set and the rest as a test set. If we run this function, we can see that we have 20,000 images for the train set and 5,000 images for the test set. Now we're going to save this new train and test set data into a new directory. We're going to have this directory structure with first a training directory with cats and dogs and then a testing directory with cats and dogs. We can then bring it all together by loading the images, separating the dogs and cat images, splitting into a train test set, and then one by one, create a new directory and copy the images back into your computer. When this is completed, you are now ready to move on to the next stage, 